President Biden's granddaughter, Naomi Biden, is getting married on the South Lawn of the White House. This will be the first White House wedding celebration in nearly a decade. Joining, joining me live this morning for more perspective on the historic occasion is Sarah Fling, a historian from the White House Historical Association. Good morning to you, Sarah. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for joining us and waking up early. So many of us get excited when we hear about the royal weddings, and that's a big deal to have your special day celebrating love happen on a national or even a worldwide stage. What do you think gets people so intrigued about these types of events? Well, you know, at the end of the day, the White House is the people's house. So I think we all feel a real connection to the events that happen there and look so forward to these special occasions because, like you said, they happen so rarely as compared to other annual events that might happen at the White House. I know not too many details have been released about Naomi Biden's wedding, of course. Got to keep it top secret for safety reasons. But what do we know so far? So, so far, we know relatively little about the day's events. However, we do know for sure that this is going to be a South Lawn wedding, which is very exciting because that's actually a first in White House history. Wow, that is amazing. So let's go back in time. How many weddings have taken place at the White House? When did they happen? And maybe what are some of the most famous ones? Definitely. So we're looking at over 200 years of White House history. And today's wedding will actually be the 19th time that a president or first lady have hosted a wedding at the White House. So the very first wedding happened in 1812, and that was the wedding of Dolly Madison's sister, Lucy. But ever since we've seen uh, daughters, sons, close family friends, and even White House staff get married at the White House. Who could get married at the White House? Are there any rules or specific criteria? That's a great question. And really, it's up to the president and first lady. So we typically see it as close family and friends, people who forge a really special relationship with the first family. But there's no hard and fast rules when it comes to White House weddings. OK, so maybe we have a chance if we get to know the president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Awesome. Well, are there any other fun facts that we should know about White House weddings? Well, I have to share two major White House weddings in history. In 1906, we've got the wedding of Alice Roosevelt, who was really an American celebrity in her own right. The first daughter had gathered crowds all day long for her special day, and she ended up having to escape through the window of the Red Room in order to get into a decoy car to avoid the crowds on the way to her honeymoon. And then several decades later, we see the major White House wedding of first daughter Tricia Nixon in 1971. And actually, this was a press hit because 700 reporters had been given credentials for that day and over 110 million Americans tuned in. So we've had a few big White House weddings in history, but it seems like today will be a bit more private. Wow, 700 reporters, you know, a lot of questions were asked. Well, tomorrow is President Joe Biden's 80th birthday, so no doubt he will be in a celebrating mood. Sarah Fling from the White House Historical Association, thank you so much for this insight. Thanks.